This is a walkthrough video of 3248 Lockwood Ridge. We're located just to the south of Weber. Um, B Ridge is down there. And this is a really nice street. It's a great neighborhood. Um, the home's a block home. It is bank owned. Has two car garage. And I gotta say the roof looks pretty good. Uh, I think the roof is pretty good. This is block, and this is block with brick facade. Um, it is a bit dated. Why is it that they had a closet as soon as you walked in? All these homes have that and just needs to be opened up. I've seen this floor plan a thousand times, and it's so easy to fix. Um, fireplace, brick fireplace. A little bit dated, but that is real brick. And this is back when nobody wanted to see the kitchen. And there's a kitchen that... I can see why no one wanted to see the kitchens because kitchens were ugly back then. Today kitchens are beautiful and they're meant to be shown so we want to take out some walls. So okay let me uh, let's start in the corner here. We have a big bedroom really big bedroom. Crank out windows actually look to be in pretty good condition. Um, gross carpeting everywhere. Actually, I'm not going to say gross. It's just shag carpet. These are cedar line closets, which are nice. Two closets. Big room here. That is a big bedroom. This has uh, just a linen closet. Again, cedar line, very deep. And then check out this, um, check out this bathroom. And this, look at this. Look at this thing. I mean, okay. I suppose if you are... Um, one way to take a bath. Wow, that's been built in. This is nice tile, but yeah, that thing's got to go. I, I, it's a, that thing's got to go. And, hmm, kind of ugly vanity. I mean, too bad, because that's pretty nice original tile. Even the ceiling texture is kind of cool. Uh, look at the ceiling texture in this room. It's actually really nice scallop ceiling. It has crown molding. Um... This house is pretty nice. This is just paneling. Should go. We have a uh, slider taking us out to a nice backyard with a really cool uh, ficus tree back there. Nice trees on the property. So screen and astroturf need, need a little work there. Kitchen. Well, I'm glad they got rid of the plastic stuff on the ceiling. But um, yeah, I'm going to say we're going to redo the kitchen. But probably more importantly is, is opening all this up. This is the cedar line closet here, coat closet. We got a big garage. Big garage, really big garage. Some roof issues over here. So I guess the roof is not in good condition based on that. That is certainly a roof problem unless the AC is up there, which I doubt because there's the pipe for the AC. This whole thing opens up, mm, man. I'm gonna say the AC probably needs to be replaced. Water heater looks good. Nice big garage though. I... Garage door is old and broken. Okay, coming back to where we started here. This time I'm gonna go over to the master. So we really only do have two bedrooms. So we have the master over here. Again, that scallop ceiling, all in very good condition, except for, darn it, that's too bad. They had something hanging there, it looks like, and pulled out. Um, okay, master bath. Check out that wallpaper. This is hideous, but um, tile's actually pretty good. We can paint that, paint the tub, probably put a vanity in there and call that a day. Could be really nice. All these mirrors here probably got to go. Big walk-in closet, cedar lined. Actually very nice. You know, this ugly carpeting throughout needs to go. Crank out windows, but you know what? Seen a lot worse. Oh, that's that. They had curtains up there. That's what was up there. They had curtain rods going across there. I don't know why, but okay. So that's pretty much, pretty much it. So I would say redoing the bathrooms, the kitchen, flooring, based on the garage, the roof. Um. And coming back to what I do in the kitchen, I certainly open it up. I may even keep, I might even recommend keeping the closet. Well, I don't know. 
certainly take out this wall. This doesn't have any purpose. It just doesn't even make any sense. Um, I guess blow out the closet, make a big open space, a big, big island for the kitchen. Have to put the refrigerator somewhere else, take this wall out, ceiling, everything's raised up, get rid of those soffits, paint the fireplace, maybe put a cool piece of granite there that matches whatever you do in the kitchen in the island. Not a bad place. So I'm Jules Roman, Yorkshire International, 941-366-0000. And as always, thanks for watching.